Hey, what's happening, folks? Text Boy 91 here, and we're on to week number seven of this week's Football Outsider cards that are in packs. One of them, of course, was limited edition, and it was a fullback and Stanley Havili. I didn't pull packs this weekend because I wasn't really geeked about these cards. I was like, you know what? I don't care about a fullback. I don't care about any of these linebackers or the receiver. I'm not going to pull packs because it's not going to be that great. But, man, I was wrong. These cards are going for a lot, and some of them are really, really good. So I should have pulled packs, but we'll go ahead and pull packs again next weekend. But the five cards are a limited edition Stanley Havili. Other players included are a Jeremy Curley, Trent Williams, Levante David, and Lawrence Timmons. So let's go ahead to the auction block and check out these cards. Now we're on to Jeremy Curley, and he might be the cheapest football outsider card they drop besides the lineman because when linemen come out, the price is like 10,000 coins right away, but usually receivers and skill positions are going for a lot. But in this case, Jeremy Curley's 8,000 coins, and it's warranted. These stats aren't that great, but they are pretty nice. 91 speed to good, good agility. Pretty solid catching stats with 8 days all over the board, and a pretty mediocre release. But when you see its price and its height, you want to compare it with T.Y. Hilton Fantasy. He's going for around 4,000, 5,000 coins. You will see that these cards are very, very similar in stat-wise. T.Y. Hilton's obviously a lot faster. And also the next gen T.Y. Hilton will be the same exact car pretty much. So if you guys really want to have an elite car, you might be better off buying the fantasy T.Y. Hilton. But if you want to buy a football outsider card, I can't blame you. 8,000 coins is not that big of an investment. And think about it. If you buy one pack for 7,500 coins, you're not guaranteed this card. you better off going to the auction block, buying it for 8,000 coins. And hey, you got a football outsider card. Our second card we're looking at this week is Trent Williams, and I'm going to pick this card up. I'm hoping it gets down to ten to 12,000 coins. Like It's not that big of a difference. I have 375,000 coins for the most part, but I really want to try to get more value out of this card than I spend. Because if you guys watch my gameplay, I'm always trying new linemen. Right now, I have Joe Thomas at the left tackle. I have tried Larry Warfield and tried Kyle Long at the right guard. I got DeAndre Smith. I'm trying out a bunch of linemen because trying to find the best combination to succeed instead of buying legend because it can be easy for me to go buy the center they came out with or go buy the right tackles and just put them out there and play well but i'm trying to find good cheap values for myself and also for you guys you guys have a good offensive line as well but this card looks really really nice like everything is pretty consistent with how he plays he has really good pass blocking strength and footwork and he has really great run blocking strength and run blocking footwork so i'm liking this card my only complaints about it is his impact blocking and his injury they're kind of low for somebody like that but he is a franchise left tackle he will protect your quarterback and i might pick him up like i said when he gets down to 10 to 12k i'm going to compare him to joe thomas i got joe thomas like for free i want to say because of the trade block feature but the stats look very very similar only thing that's low on williams compared to joe thomas is the impact block and the injury and the injury like i said could be a problem just because they get injured a lot this year in this game, so I might not like the injury aspect, but I'm definitely going to try him out at left tackle, right tackle, even hell, try him out at center and guard, see how he plays there, because I'm trying to find the best combination for my team. But right now, these two cards, pitchers, it's not the Kim Boozer, just picture the regular Joe Thomas. These two cards are going for the same exact price, and I honestly don't know who would be a better pick of anybody's team, but I'm going to go with Joe Thomas because I play with him, but I will definitely get Trent Williams and tell you guys how he plays. Our third card we're looking at this week is Levante David. A lot of you guys might know his name, especially you obnoxious Jet fans, just because he gave you guys your first win of the season with that bogus push out of bounds call on Geno Smith, but I'm not going to go on a rant about that. But here's Levante David, 90 overall right outside linebacker, and I did not expect this card to be this good. Like I expected him like like a 87, 88 elite card, but 90, that's really great, man, defensive chemistry. 40,000 coins is his price. Really nice speed and agility. Good tackling and good block shed. Strength is kind of low, but it's the same strength, I believe, as Zach Brown. And he has good play wreck and good pursuit. I ended up buying this car for right around 30,000 coins, so it's a good pickup for me because I want to try him out, as you guys can see right here. But when I compared him to Zach Brown, like, I think Zach Brown might just be a little bit better, and his value might be a little bit better than paying 30,000 coins for Levante David, because Zach Brown has going for like 5,000 coins, and Levante David is going for 40 right now, so you guys see the stats. It may not look like Levante David is better than Zach Brown, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the depth chart stats after this. Now we're at the depth chart. David's right here. Zach Brown's below him. Go ahead and go scroll through. Of course, the obviously overall difference, but everything else so far looks really similar. Speed, strength, agility, acceleration. The awareness is in, is in David's factor, which may make a bigger difference because as I know right now, Zach Brown is not the best coverage linebacker. He sometimes gets beat by those tight ends on those out routes, but everybody does it in this game, so I'm not sure that makes a big difference. Plus, I really don't think awareness matters in this game when defense is broken. Anyway, go ahead and get to the more important stats, which I look for is zone and catching. 
So as of right now, Zach Brown has one of the better catching at a linebacker at a 75, and he drops picks. So imagine what Levante Davis is going to do with a 67 catch. Like, Zach Brown has dropped so many picks on the field out there, so Levante Davis is obviously going to be dropping those picks as well, which might make a bigger impact in the game than Zach Brown 75 might. So I'm going to get to the man and zone coverage stats, see how those stack up. Tackling right here, you guys can see. 88 right here with 82 hit power. David is a better tackle, which might make a bigger difference. The tackling is still an issue in this game for the most part. Hit power is relatively the same. Power moves relatively the same. And finesse moves in Zach Brown's favor. So pretty much you're looking at this card stats, and they look very, very similar. In some aspects, Zach Brown exceeds. In some aspects, Levante David exceeds. But overall, 30,000, 40,000 coins for Levante David might not be worth it when his stats look very, very similar. You go ahead and spend 5,000 coins to get yourself a good linebacker in Zach Brown. But I'm going to go ahead and try out Levante David, tell you guys how he plays, and see if he makes a bigger impact than Zach Brown. So stay tuned for that. Now we're on to Lawrence Timmons. When I saw this card's price and I saw this card rating like 91 overall linebacker for 36,000 coins, sign me up. Patrick Willis is not even going for that price. Like, this is a really good deal. I even saw it cheaper than this like an hour ago. So if you guys might want to be patient, pick this card up for a nice cheap price. Then I saw its stats. I'm like, you know what? Nothing really impresses me. Why is this card going for this much? Now I went ahead and checked out his depth chart stats. And three stats stood out to me. I'm going to go with the negative one first and the two positive ones. But the negative is he has a 47 catch. Like, he is not catching anything thrown to him. I, I, I'm telling you, he has bricks for hands. He's the epitome of the guys that you see out there in the real life. They get the ball thrown to them, they just drop it. Like, he will not catch anything thrown to him. And, and that sucks because he might be a good linebacker. But I did find out what his finesse move and power move is. And they're really high. His finesse move is a 92, that's like 30 points higher than most linebackers in this game. So he is not a coverage linebacker. His primary was an 85, but he is not a coverage linebacker. He is a blitzing linebacker. So you guys want a linebacker that can blitz and that can get by those centers, those guards, those tackles. He might be for you. I might pick him up just to try him out because I do like blitzing <laughs> when I got guys that are good at it. So I might try him out. Maybe try him out at right outside linebacker. Maybe try him out at left end, see how he plays at those positions. But he is not a coverage linebacker, but he is a good blitzing linebackers you guys are looking for one of those this is your guy i almost forgot to compare luke keekley to lawrence simmons going to flip these cards over real quick keekley has a better tackle play rec and also better pursuit but you have to recognize what these two cards do differently Keekley is a better linebacker in coverage. He's underrated in that aspect of his game. He is a sure tackler. He also has really good hands. He gets like a 75 catch, I believe, with good zone and good man coverage. So he can guard those tight ends, those running backs, and some receivers in the game. While Lawrence Timmons is more of a blitzing linebacker. That's why he has a good power move and a great finesse move. So if you guys are looking for a blitzing linebacker in your scheme, Timmons is your guy. But you guys are looking for more of a coverage linebacker with good tackling, Keekley be the guy for you. So pretty much it comes down to what guy you want on your team and what will fit your scheme the best. Now we are on to the limited edition Stanley Havili. This card was the most coveted card this week, and it's kind of funny considering that if this card was like a 90 overall fullback that had the same stats, it'd be like 30,000 coins, but since it's limited edition, of course it's going to be 120,000 coins, and I have a rule when it comes to this game. I try not to buy undesirable positions for a high price just because you're not going to make that big of an impact on, on the team. Now, unless you're going to be running the I formation the entire game with a fullback out there, go ahead and get this card. Get your money's, money's worth out of it. But with me and a lot of other people, they run a lot of shotgun formation and a lot of other stuff. You're not going to be running a fullback out there the entire time. And spending 120,000 coins on a fullback, why you can go spend 80,000 on Calvin Johnson or go ahead and spend 120,000 on the Steve Young. A lot of good positions you guys can spend that money on to insure up your team and i would not touch this card maybe if he gets down to 50,000 coins without looking at his card stats i'll pick him up he has good run blocking attributes and he has pretty good speed and pretty good trucking and catching but 120,000 coins is a little bit too much a little bit too much maybe 50,000 coins 6,000 coins is a better respectable price but there's a lot of fullbacks out there that have just as good run blocking stats for a lot cheaper. I believe you can already get the you can use the Vernon Davis that you guys got for free that has good run blocking stats as well. So Marcel Reese is not as good as Avili, but Marcel Reese is 5,000 coins. So if you guys want to go fullback that can run block and you don't want to spend this amount of coin, go ahead and get yourself a BCA Vontae Leach or even just the Elite Vontae Leach. You do the same exact thing for a lot cheaper, but 
this card is nice. Another thing before I go ahead and get in this video, I don't like the dual chemistries, one offense, one defense with these cards. I don't understand it whatsoever, considering that if I wanted to pull Havili at linebacker, I couldn't. And the same thing goes with Mean Joe Green. Mean, not Mean Joe Green, I'm sorry, with uh, William Perry. William Perry has a ground and pound chemistry, but there's no way you can put him at fullback in this game other than doing the video tutorial I, shot, I taught you guys how to. So I don't understand the dual chemistries, defense and offense on one card, but whatever it's what they want to do but stanley havili like i said before 120,000 coins uh -uh. go buy yourself a calvin johnson and watch the impact just gloss on the field and that is this week's football outsider card overview if you guys enjoy this series be sure to drop a like on it also if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button i upload videos every single day so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my uploads i'm out this mother bleeper peace